Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you are watching the last installment of my Christmas in July series. I am so sad to see this go, but I do have a really good DIY for you guys today. I have made some stocking tags or you can use them as personalized ornaments for your tree. So if you stay tuned, I'll show you how I did it. So starting out, I want to show you guys my inspiration that I got off of Pinterest. It's these stocking tags and I felt that I could make them myself and personalize them to the decor that I'll be having for this year's theme. So here goes my supplies. I have an X-Acto knife. I am going to use a paint stirrer as a straight edge. I had this beware sign all the way from Halloween. It is from the Dollar Tree. I have some leftover contact paper, Mod Podge, some stick-on stencils, my drill, drill bits, and a little bit of twine that I got from Ace Warehouse. So just starting out, I'm going to take the beware sign. I'll be using the back of it to kind of stencil the stalking tag. Um, I don't think it's still the right word. I guess just draw them out in the shape and the size that I want. Um, I didn't measure anything exactly. So I'm doing, I'd say I'd estimate probably about three inches across and about four and a half inches long. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just using the size of, you know, the beware sign, of course. So as you can see, after I draw with my straight edge, I am just going over it with the X-Acto knife and it breaks in half very simply. The edges are a bit rough, but as you'll see in a moment, I will be taking my X-Acto knife and I will be sort of chiseling, chiseling them to make them a little bit smoother. You could do this with sandpaper if you don't trust yourself with such a sharp knife. So next what I'm doing is just going to try to see how much contact paper I need to cover up the shape of the stalking tag. And I just did a loose measurement by folding the contact paper over and it worked well for me. Okay, so this is super easy. You're just going to fold the contact paper over and cover up the entire uh, shape of the stalking tag. What I'm doing is cutting little slits along the side because I find that when you make small pieces and fold it over, it lays down a lot smoother. There's a lot less bubbles. There's a lot less uh, bunching. And since I'm going to be writing on them, I want them as smooth as possible. So you guys, I honestly thought that I would be using these stencils. Come to find out that my big stencils are way too big and my little stencils are way too little. So I end up having to just, you know, write in cursive by myself on the tags. Um, so they didn't come out exactly how I wanted them to. That time I wrote it, it was a little bit uh, small. I wanted to take up a little bit more space on the tag. And here is my second try and I do not like the way my um, E came out. That was kind of awkward. So I'm going to go back again and try it. And you guys, third time's the charm. It looked decent enough in my opinion to leave it be.
So starting with the last bit, you guys, what I'm going to do is be putting a hole inside of the stocking tags with my drill bit. What I'm going to do is start with the smallest size and just make a really small hole. As you can see, it's a little dusty around the hole. That's just a cardboard. And then I'm going to go in with a larger drill bit and I am going to make the hole a little bit larger so that I can fit the twine right through it. So I got this nautical rope from Ace Hardware, but you guys, the cool thing is that I ended up not even using it. There's a little bit of twine tied around the nautical rope to keep it still, and that was long enough, and honestly, it was small enough for me to put right through the hole that I drilled in the stocking tag. So here it is you guys with just a simple knot. I tied the twine and my DIY is all finished and here are the stocking tags. So you can use these as ornaments or you can hang them on gifts, whatever you like. I hope you all enjoy this DIY and I will see you in the next one. Bye.